Okay, welcome back. So, I have now had a bit of time to look around the map uh, with our new cartographer revealing the entire underground. And I don't really think there's anything that interesting, to be honest, but probably worth mentioning uh, that if we look to the east just here, we'd have to Dimension Door across. Um, but there is a Throng of Crusaders guarding a Pandora's box, there's a Library of Enlightenment. And if we go slightly further to the north, though it's probably about full turn's journey, uh, again, needs more Dimension Door, but there is a Dragon Utopia just there, so that's kind of noteworthy, but not that noteworthy. Um, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to start going out of my way to actually put some of these heroes away, because they are just a distraction at this point. I really don't think there's much they can really contribute. So we'll go for this. We're just going to tuck these heroes away, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, I'm going to send Zai out. And the reason for that is that Zai does have Town Portal, and so can hopefully Town Portal across to here. Um, this is purely just for my sanity. Too many heroes to manage, and I just want to tuck them in as much as possible. I don't like to dismiss my heroes, um, but hopefully if we just tuck them away that should be fine. Although two skeletons there, not really enough. Uh, we do have this hero approaching us, so Malik could potentially come to attack, which would be a problem. Uh, this hero could easily beat two skeletons, but maybe seven skeletons would be okay with the help of the towers. Not really sure about that. Um, but yeah, these heroes mostly just need to tuck themselves in, and I guess Ashling can defend instead. Um, but yeah, we're going to start racing through these turns a bit. We're going to go for Mage Guild level 2. Pretty much nothing here that can excite us, but we're going to go all the way to level 5. Hopefully get Implosion. And yeah, so it's just the three heroes we care about, which are these three. Uh, so Galthran, Thant, and Vitamina. So with Vitamina, I had a plan which was a little bit uh, unintuitive, I guess, which is that I initially thought we could go back through this. We can come out just here, and we can then Dimension Door across, start going towards the Rampart Town, take on Kaled. Problem with that is we'd have fewer than 100 spell points at that point, which I think makes it really difficult to to actually keep the skeleton numbers up. We need to be able to cast Animate Dead lots of times. And of course, the first few times you cast Animate Dead, you won't necessarily get all those skeletons back. It's only towards the end of the battle where the opponent's really weak. That's when you can start kind of pulling it back with your Animate Deads. So 100 spell points, not really enough. We do actually have a limit of 380. So my plan was that we could instead go to the north. We could visit this. Dimension Door up a couple of times, get all of our spell points back from the well. Then Dimension Door across. Go to this, get ourselves plus one knowledge. Then Dimension Door again. Go to this, get ourselves extra stats. And then Dimension Door one final time, which would take a couple of turns. But we go to the Rampart Town. What I figured would be the alternative is we go through, we go back across to this location. Or we just straight up Town Portal. Then we'd end up back in this town. And we'd have to spend an entire turn just waiting. Which obviously isn't ideal. I don't really think that's the right thing to do. But... Literally in the last few seconds before I started recording, um, apologies if someone's mentioned this, again I've not seen the comments for the previous episode, uh, it's quite subtle so I wouldn't be surprised if no one noticed. The Vial of Lifeblood is poking out from the side of that mountain, guided by a horde of zealots which is of course completely fine. So Vial of Lifeblood is plus two hit points for each of our skeletons, and I've been hoping to find one of these. Only downside of that is that having extra hit points means it's harder to use Animate Dead to bring them back. But it's also harder to kill them in the first place. Takes them up from 6 hit points to uh, 8 hit points. So definitely worth going for that. And I think that is what we're going to do next turn. But yeah, we've pretty much done all we can for this turn, so let's end the turn there. Okay, Red gets that town back once again. So the three big heroes to look out for are Kaled. Uh, Tani's coming to attack us, kind of surprised. Kaled, Elishar, and Iona. Um, and I think that was Iona just there. Doesn't really go aggressive. Doesn't try to get that Fortress Town back. So Elishar is possibly that hero just there. Or... No, it's that one. Yeah, that's Elishar. We can see they break through the Ghost Dragons. Town Portal around. Come out more or less where they started. Okay, that's interesting. And Kaled is going in the other direction to... The one that actually allows her to defend. Okay, so... Change of plan. Vitamina is now going to go back to... Crap, that's the wrong one. Okay, not off to the best start. So, gonna go back to Claxton. And we're just going to... Town Portal across, or Dimension Door even. 
go for this. Uh, we should probably take the fight, I think that's only fair. Okay, if they're going to flee, I think we just let them go. Okay, so we pick this up and we now have plus two hit points for each of our skeletons. Really massive improvement. Is there anything else worth hanging around for? I don't think there really is. Um, we could maybe mess around with Town Portal a bit more. There's the Boots of Speed just there, which we should probably pick up. Someone else. But yeah, I think that's the main thing to do. So let's go back to planting. And we can go attack Adela if we want to. But we need to be able to get back. Still, I think that should be doable. So it's 971 movement points. We have got 1623. So yeah, that should be completely fine. Uh, shouldn't be really at risk of taking any losses. Okay, 40 losses expected. That's a few more than I'd like, so I think we should actually take this fight. Just go for Animate Dead at the end. Armor of the Damned does kick in. And I guess we just go forward. We're not going to take many losses. Ah, crap. Misclick. Okay, well hopefully they come to attack us with the Harpies, but no, they're going to go for the weaker stack. So, eight Harpies, not actually strong enough to kill us off. Even a one stack. Okay, so we kill these off. This is obviously a very straightforward fight. It's just a case of going through the motions. Could have done without the one stacks in hindsight. Ah, crap. Okay, that's two misclicks in a row. Uh, these kinds of easy fights... Oh. Okay, I keep misclicking three times in one fight. Just trying to do this quickly and sometimes has the opposite intended effect. Okay, here we go. So if we move up, they still can't reach us. So let's just go forward. They come across. We go for our animate dead and we should have taken it from 40 losses to 6 losses. There we go. Okay, so a few artifacts there, and we can go to the refugee camp, which obviously is pointless, so let's just go straight back to Atlanting. And we're going to get all of our spell points back. So Galthron also has some interesting choices. He can either go to the north and try and take this town, and on the way we can get a few useful things, so we can get some extra knowledge. Uh, we can go to the Dragon Utopia, and also the Library of Enlightenment. Problem with that, of course, is Elishar is right there. Elishar is... Definitely one of the strongest heroes on the map. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we could go to the east instead. We could go for the Boots of Speed, for example, which is probably better than the Boots of Polarity. Um, and then we can go back to the town and get our spell points back. However, I think easiest target is to go west instead. Uh, I don't know if I caught where Simulik went. But well, he's not coming to attack us. Yeah, I think we go west instead and we go get the, uh, the Crown of Supreme Magi. Dragon Utopia has probably already been cleared, but if we can go through all the way to Tan's Town, that's going to be a really good situation, unless Iona has Town Portal, but I don't think she does. So yeah, that should be fine. I think we will go to the Scholar, because we have all of our skills, so it's going to be plus one to one of our stats. Uh, lots of Evil Eyes is pretty straightforward. Not even going to fight those. Open the box, 5,000 gold. Pretty disappointing, but never mind. Horde of Rogues. Should be fairly straightforward. 12 losses, 31 back. Do we want to attack the Naga Bank? I think for the experience... No, I think we don't because we just don't have that many spell points. I can't be bothered to fight this. So we do take a small loss. And we don't have enough moving points to go across. Can take on a Horde of Zombies or can go this direction instead. Uh, we do have the... Scales of the Greater Basilisk, which is plus three spell power. If we go for this instead, that's um, plus one to each of our stats. So that's a net plus one. I'm not sure that's worth the effort. So to go straight across to the town, we do want to go slightly north. So maybe that does make sense. Yeah, I think that's fine. Do have to be a bit careful with our spell points, though. Okay, so as planned, Vokio just goes up in this direction. 
So I can hopefully go to... No, that's the wrong town. Okay, let's try going further around. There we go. So Zai's just going to tuck herself in there. Go for Mage Guild level 3. Ashvin goes into this. She's going to camp and Chana's going to go to this. And Chana is pretty much stuck. I think we camp Chana too. And doesn't have too much to do. I guess he could take on a couple of Dragon Utopias. He should be strong enough. We should get our spell points back. Yeah, let's just go in. Uh, I'm not going to swap any skeletons. I think we just end the turn there. So red probably has at least one fairly good hero somewhere, but still probably the most irrelevant player with the exception of Teal, who's about to time out. So let's have a look for Iona. Pretty sure they don't have Town Portal, we can't see any sign of them casting that. Iona is stuck in the swamp. Green's also relatively weak apart from Elishar. So yeah, Elishar does have Town Portal, does move around quite a lot. And Orange is actually pretty close to one of our towns, so I need to look out for that. So it's this one. Yeah, Simulek, there he is. Okay, we probably have to try and chase him down, which is kind of annoying because it's not the most productive use of time. If we were to pick up... we do have Nimbus available. If we pick up Nimbus, 28 skeletons, does that survive against several wyverns? Kind of doubt it, but might be worth a go. I don't really want to move Galthran from where he is. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, because I want Galthran to really go for this next town. Okay, we're going to take this fight. So, a net plus 10 to our skeletons. Let's go across to this. That seems fine too, so that's 50 more skeletons. Pick up the Armor of Wonder. We will equip that. And I think we go across to this. Get some extra movement points. And we can see Grindon, who we should maybe fight. Would this level us up? Just. It'll just level us up. I think I'm willing to take him on. He probably chases us down either way, so that's... Probably the right choice. Let's go for it. Oh no, I miscalculated. Oh, okay, so we're a full 10,000 off. I didn't look all the way back across to the second figure. Full 10,000 away. Okay, never mind. Alright, so that next. Not too much for him to do. Let's just swap places with Vitamina. And now it's time to go for the attack. So we dimension door across, then we can reach. Should we go for this first? I think so, our defense is not too great. So green is just there, uh, so wise oak, not very heavily defended. Let me just go for it. So in theory we can do this with just one animate dead. Should have split into more stacks, but never mind. Now we're fine with one stack. Start moving across. Okay, so they kind of block us, but I think we should be able to get across this round. Let's move in. Kill these off. Then we animate dead. So 120 come back, kill these off, 2 losses, 67 back. Now we can kill Dace off. There is the breastplate of petrified wood, which is what this seer wants. But I don't really care. Okay, I think we should probably kill this guy off. Just accept that. Then Town Portal back. Spend the turn there. That works. Ok, 
Okay, so next up we do have Thant, and Thant doesn't really have too much to do. Um, I guess... We could take some fights. We obviously don't have Dimension Door, or any of that stuff, but... If we can level up a bit... He could still be useful. I guess we just go this way. Uh, what I should have done is I should have passed across some of these artifacts. Because yeah. Crown of Dragon Tooth, kind of wasted. Shield of the Damned. Wait. No, we can't equip that. Yeah, we've got some pretty good artifacts that we're not using just because the uh, Armor of the Damned is slightly better in effects, I think. Depends if you prefer stats or just automatically casting spells, but Armor of the Damned is definitely more fun. Okay, so let's just push up again in this direction, and that is pretty much all we can do, although we can go back to this. Go Mage Guild level 4. That gets us Town Portal and Meteor Shower. And that all seems fine. So I wouldn't be surprised if Simulac does attack. They are down to their... I think they have no towns left. That does make sense. Let's see what happens. So Iona still stuck in the swamp. Let's see, so this stuff is pretty irrelevant. I don't think these heroes are too great. Um, that, of course, is Elishar. Not a direct threat to us. So Muluk does attack. Probably wins. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. Okay, let's see what we can do. I think that's a few too many for us to beat. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. Okay, what's the most damage we can do? So, Lightning Bolt we can cast five times. Try and kill these off. Not gonna work out, but that's fine. I'd rather go for their main town. I should have probably recruited all the units and dismissed them, but that does feel a bit cheesy. Okay, fine. So that's something we need to take back, so let's go back to Galthran, and Grindon surprisingly didn't attack, which suggests a lack of confidence. The problem is 51 spell points, it's not a lot, but still, I think we go for it. Just deal with the problem. Okay, that should be a sufficient defense. Let's start the combat. So if we were to go for Armageddon, what would that do? 1200 points of damage, I think that pretty much wipes most things out. Yeah, that's that's too much damage. Don't think we do that. Let's go for haste. Then we rush across, that was the wrong stack. Okay, so we go for the block. These guys hopefully can do enough damage that we just need to cast. Animate did once. Ah, crap. Didn't think he'd flee, so that's quite a few losses. That sucks. Okay, still, we do have 900 left. We can probably get some more. But this place has been pretty severely farmed. Didn't try going for the Dragon Utopia, that could have worked, but never mind. Let's just go for the attack. So this is a bit dangerous because I'm pretty sure this goes across to this location, the north. And uh, not quite this. This one. Yeah, so it takes us across to here. Uh, if we go above ground, that's pretty close to Iona. And I think Iona, we have to use Vitamina for that fight. That's going to be a tough one. 87 losses expected, let's try to prevent those. Just need to cast Animate Dead. Okay, he's going to stay back, which is kind of annoying. 
What could we do? We could try Magic Arrow. It does kill them off. Let's force them out. Hopefully it works. Actually, I am blocking their way out. That's a uh, pretty obvious reason they don't come out to attack. Okay, can we reach? Not quite. Hmm. Do we move across, risking that they attack us? I think we hedge our bets. Go for animate dead. So we can cast it again if we want to. But maybe just accept the losses. So 13 losses, 8 back, and we can get our spell points back. Okay, so we've taken Tan's main town. Pretty sure they will come to take it back. Uh, but first we're going to go to Vitamina, we're going to go Dimension Door up to this. Get ourselves some extra stats, and where is Kaled? So there's Elishar, have to be a bit careful of that. I guess we could try and get this town back. But that's not too close to much. If anything, we probably go to Whitestone. I think that makes sense. So this town might need some defenders. Let's see who we can recruit. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to waste my spell points going back to that. I'm just going to go across to Whitestone. Let me step out. These two interact, and we're just going to pass across some useful artifacts. So let's have a look. So Sword of Judgment, unfortunately we can't give that to Vitamina. Let's give this artifact instead. So Dragon Scale Armor, that's definitely a step up. What else could we do? Boots of Levitation don't really help us. This is a step up too, I think. Yep, it's definitely a step up. Shield of the Damned, that's plus 6 defense. This other one is, let's have a look. Plus 3 and plus 3. Okay, I thought we'd have more to share. But that's fine. I'm actually going to take the Cape of Velocity. And we do have enough movement points that we could go really aggressive. So if we stick around, we can get the Stable Boost next turn. We can even go up to that, get the stable boost from there. But it depends if there's something else worth doing. Void's obviously really weak, not a great target. Other stuff, not really worth going to. I wonder if we just go across to this. This is something I've been considering. Go across to this, go to the magic well, cross over there, and could attack Redstown. But then we face Iona, which might be a bit difficult. So I've just rewatched the previous turn, and Caleb actually barely moves. So I think what we should actually do is just take her on. So if we go back to Lanting, we've spent quite a few spell points, but I think that's pretty affordable. Uh, we just have to move slightly further west. We can just about get across. And yeah, we can finally get our vengeance on Caleb. We took out several hundred of our skeletons before. Might as well get ourselves some extra spell power before the fight, and pretty sure we're going to be fine. Let's go for it. So, 760 losses expected. That of course doesn't take spells into account. Still got a strong force. Does have tactics. We'll get to move first. Cast slow. Goes for the one stack. Nine Archangels go for the one stack, so clearly very afraid of our skeletons. Our spells kick in. And pretty sure we can... No, I don't think we can one-shot these. I think we go for this. And okay, we can't reach. Unless we haste. Which is probably fine. Yeah, four to nine kills. Let's go for it. Don't quite kill them off. Do get the next move. Uh, if we were to go for a meter shower, that's 862 points of damage. Armageddon. Could be fun. I don't want it to kill everything. But it shouldn't. 
champion should survive. So yeah, we'll go for Armageddon. Kill these off. So she actually goes for teleport, and at this point, we can start going for, I think, animate dead. Start rushing across. Kill these off. She has no spell points left. If we go for animate dead one more time, 67 back. Kill these off. So, six losses. Lots of good stuff. Nothing amazing, but... Good to know Caled has officially been dealt with. We get 168 more skeletons. And I think... We should probably go back to a town. Uh, so it's not yet month 4. Still going to be another week. So we can't go to the artifact merchants. If we were to go south, we could try and take on Elishar. But Elishar is going to be tougher. If we could find a well... That might be doable. I'm not sure it's safe enough. I'm going to go to this. Get plus two attack, and hopefully we still have enough to go back to a town. So let's just go back to... Let's put Galthram back in. And let's go back to Whitestone. So we both get the stable boost at the start of next turn. That needs to be a bit careful because we are being approached by Sorsha. Sorsha's not too bad. Go for this attack. So 45 losses expected. I think it is still worth trying to build this guy up. Can we go for blind? Yeah, I think going for blind is just the easiest way to do this. Ah, crap. Got it wrong again. Uh, here we go. So three... Then one, two, three, then we attack. So no losses, 35 back. Yeah, those sprite fights don't get you that many skeletons. It's kind of underwhelming. Okay, we still need to level up. So I think we go for the Horde of Swordsmen. Pretty sure we can take on Sorsha. There's some spell points just there. I think going in this direction makes sense. Okay, I'm going to stick to my word. I'm not going to waste time with my other heroes, although I will go to this and build level five. Hopefully get Implosion, but we don't. Okay, so we won't bother going back to that. End the turn there. So Red is, of course, too afraid to attack us. Does have this town to the southwest of the underground. Pretty irrelevant, though. Can't see any immediate threats. Sorsha comes slightly closer. Iona doesn't actually come closer at all. I'm kind of surprised. So we're going to wait and see what Elishar does. So Elishar appears to be staying somewhat nearby. We'd have to use quite a few spell points to reach. Heal is gone. Let's have a look. So we've got 420 spell points. Closest we can get to Elishar. There's not really anywhere that close. Let's go to Thamp first and let's take on these swordsmen. So 50 losses expected, 4 separate stacks, I think we give haste, just to speed things along. So defend with most of these stacks, these guys go in and kill these off. The next round begins, I think we're going to form a barrier. Again, this is just to speed things up. And let's see, so they can reach us if we go for the top stack. If we go for the bottom stack, we should be fine. So these two go for their moves. These defend. Then we kill these off. Please defend, and then we kill off the rest. So four losses, 24 skeletons, and we can reach the magic well if we want to. Uh, Dragon Utopia is not too far off. Sorsh is closer to the well, so I think we definitely go there first. 
then we should probably bring Galthran out. I'm fairly keen on keeping the skeleton stacks separate, although 900 extra skeletons would be good for those final couple of fights. That's a decision that probably needs to be made. If we go super aggressive out of the two big bosses, which is the first one we can take on? So Bronn is the strongest of red, but not strong enough to be a problem. So it really is Elisha and Iona. Um, I think Caitlyn's not really going to be a threat. Caitlyn is... I'm not actually sure where Caitlyn is, but not immediately threatening us. Okay, Vokio, we're going to, again, try and move towards this town. Just so that we don't have to think about him. And Vitamina. Tough choice. I think we do go aggressive. And I think we should take most of the skeletons because this next couple of fights are going to be really tough. So we've got 3,400 skeletons. Let's give Galthran 500 back. That's still a big net gain. And then let's just move up. So this takes us to here and we can go through this. Should we go to this first, perhaps? But no, I think stay focused on the goal. Go for the town. And how close can we get? Not quite close enough. If we dimension door. We can reach, and it is undefended. Then Iona probably comes to attack us. So Iona has pack of archangels, throng of griffins, so over 100 griffins. Lots of champions. Pretty scary, but 3,000 skeletons, hopefully enough. There's Bronn, strongest of Red's heroes. He would have to attack us if we claim this. But I think we go for it. Get ourselves plus one defense. And Chana's meant to be sleeping. Ashlyn can't really do too much. I guess we should probably make use of Galthran. Is there literally nothing he can do? He can maybe go for the Dragon Utopia. As long as he comes back, that should be fine. I think we actually go back to Igni. This town could be attacked. So perhaps we go into the town. We're going to leave behind the usual seven skeletons. Then hopefully we still have enough movement points, but we don't quite. So with that being the case, let's move towards this. And... Let's probably end the turn there. Vitamina has 400 spell points, so she could have 20 more. I think we could still go aggressive if we want, but we're probably fine to stay where we are. Town's fully upgraded. Yeah, let's just end the turn there. So red's still moving around. Doesn't come to attack us because, of course, they do have the town to the southwest underground. And that was the Ring of Life for even more hit points for our skeletons. So I wouldn't mind grabbing that. Might not be possible though. So this I think is Elisha, and is not an immediate threat to us. That is probably Caitlyn. So Orange has got back in the game, but that's fine, we've made a net gain overall. Let's go for the plus one attack, then let's town portal back to Igni. And this stuff we can take on, so the Hellstorm helmet is not really worth going for. This, of course, makes no difference at all, but we could take them on for the extra skeletons. Boots of Speed, I think we do want. Wrong of Crusaders. Not going to be the easiest of fights, but with our spells it should be fine. 5,000 XP as well. They do form as six separate stacks, which is kind of annoying. So if we go for Armageddon, let's have a look. 1400 points of damage, so these guys have got... Oh god. Can't be bothered to work this out. Uh, so they've got... 350, 700... Not enough. Not enough to survive. They get wiped out easy. Chain Lightning, we don't have, either. Okay. Meteor Shower. Let's just do it. So it does a nice chunk of damage. Okay. 
Just gonna let them attack. Okay, so if we go for haste, that probably makes sense. Uh, I meant to attack there, obviously. Okay, with that being the case, let's go for Meteor Share instead. So they do open up a way for the stack of 24 to attack us. We do kill them off. And let's kill these off. 19 back. Not worth going for just yet. Okay, so we kill these off, we go for Animate Dead. 31 come back. 60 Skeletons, Boots of Speed, next big target. I'm not really sure, let's go to Thamp first. And do we just rush straight in for this fight? With 99 spell points, I think that should be fine. Get ourselves plus one spell power. And let's go for it. So she has got no spell points left, that makes things a lot simpler. Spell options, we've got Meteor Shower, 275 points of damage. That's pretty good. Let's go for it on these. Go for a block. Then just defend, although I guess these stacks are so weak we can just go forward. Would have been fine. Meteor Shower again. These two targets not really worth going for. I wish Fireball was cheaper. It does not make any sense. I know I talked about this in previous playthrough or previous episode. It doesn't make any sense. Fireball... More expensive. Obviously we do have Earth Magic and not Fire Magic, but... Bit of a silly situation. Okay, what else can we do? Lightning Bolt. Magic Arrow, perhaps. And he kills three. Let's just go forward. Okay, these three defend. These kill these off. Let's go for a block. These move up. Zealots, I didn't think they'd go for the biggest stack. Wow, okay. That was annoying. Expert Earth Magic, 24 back. So we do take a net loss, but we also get the Ring of Life for plus one health. So we're up to seven hit points on each of our skeletons. Definitely worth doing. And we can go for the Dragon Utopia next. Okay, so Vitamina did not get attacked. If we go super aggressive against Iona, that could be interesting. Are we definitely strong enough? I'd be tempted to pick up some more skeletons from Than. Well, they, with our plus two to each of their hit points, we've got 3,000 skeletons. That might already be enough. I'd be tempted. I think that is a decision we'll make in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.